everyone, Queer V here uh, with a something new that I started trying uh, with watercolors and it's sort of a somewhat abstract watercolor portrait style. Um, I did take this like whimsical uh, portraits class on uh, Skillshare. I will link that in the description. Uh, but it, uh, I decided to, I did a different one first, which I didn't record, but then I wanted to do another one for, uh, someone who I follow on DeviantArt and it's their birthday today. And this is one of their characters that I actually designed for them, uh, originally and they really like the character so that makes me happy and um i just thought it would be this would be like a good character to do in this style um so even though i drew his name is felix and even though i drew his ears and i sort of started painting them in the end you don't really see them <laughs> at all uh they get buried by the the watercolor blotches <laughs> um but basically like the whole thing is like you paint like a watercolor portrait but then you add like fun watercolory effects around and I've always like wanted to do that but I never really knew exactly how and so sculpture is really helpful honestly like <laughs> um I know that, like, uh, YouTubers who are sponsored by them, like, always, like, talk about it. So you're like, is it, like, really actually good? Or are they just saying that because they're getting paid to? But Scotia doesn't sponsor me. <laughs> and I, I think that it's actually really useful and great. Because um, it's just, I don't know, it, it's, it's basically like a YouTube except for learning stuff. And like it's just taught by other people and stuff which is really nice just you know artists human beings like like everybody is I don't know um but yeah so I decided to do this painting and it's really fun uh to do like I have had issues in the past with doing watercolor of like doing layers and like layering up but this process has really taught me to do that a little bit more and layer up because it is like it looks a lot better when you layer stuff um and yeah so I really like how this turned out I like how my previous one that I did turned out I didn't include it in this video oops but uh yeah so basically the whole thing about this style is hair sort of gets eaten up by watercolor blobs and you just sort of do like like i sort of did his hair color is like this really dark like brownish red and so i was trying to make it sh like sort of seem like that was his hair this, the color um he doesn't have yellow on him as a character but I really felt like I needed to add another color than just like red and brown because it felt like I don't know it felt like there needed to be like something else to pop in the piece um so that's why I added the yellow and um he has a little hat that I added on there and at first I was like oh god this looks so bad but then it, it, it ended up looking like pretty okay um, so sometimes that's how it is with watercolor it looks bad and you're like oh god but then later you're like oh that actually doesn't look bad <laughs> and it's fine <laughs> and it's fine um, so I used my mission gold watercolors here and I used uh, I don't know the exact color names, but I used a red. I used like a pinkish color that was sort of reddish. And then I used a reddish brown and then yellow. Um, and that's it. Uh, most of the image is done with like a mixture of the brown and the red. 
So the um but I I felt like it was a little flat. So uh closer to the I think I already actually did it. Um <laughs> but in the video, but I added some of the pinkish red color uh to his face and the shadows and everything just to make the color a little more dynamic. Um and I really like how it came out. I it wouldn't like go it wouldn't drip down how I wanted it to, so I sort of had to like blow on the paint a little bit to get <laughs> to get it to go down. Um, and have that drippy effect. I wish that it, it had done it more. I tried to add more water so it would drip, but I don't want to add too much water. So I was just, uh, I was just having, um, I don't know what I was going to say about that. <laughs> but I really like, uh, how this turned out and this, this process is really fun and I'm definitely going to continue doing it with other characters and stuff um and just portraits it's a really fun way to do a watercolor portrait because it's like you get like somewhat like realism with it but not like totally you get that like watercolor -y vibe with it and so yeah I really hope this uh person likes their birthday gift and uh I will leave their links below as well and thank you guys so much for watching my video. Thank you especially to my patrons, Ezithan, Art Mystic, Kim, Rian, Jill, and Ashley. You guys are the best, and I love you so much. Thank you guys. Hope you all are staying safe. Bye! <laughs>